We are now being joined by Ricky Bandejas. We'll begin with a few questions from the media. Connor, your line is now live. Hey, Ricky, how you doing? Hey, how you doing, man? Good, good. Thanks for asking. Uh, yeah, you know, just if you look at your time in Bellator so far, I mean, your only losses come to guys that are either rumored to fight for the title, hold the title, or lost that title. So what do you feel like, you know, what do you feel like you kind of stand in this division currently? Uh, you know, it looks like we get so close, and every time to make the next step, you know, level up, we seem to be losing. So uh, I'm hoping Thursday we get the win and we come full circle and redeem all those losses. Yeah. And uh, Belter obviously just added uh, Brett Johns, and, you know, you add that to, you know, the guys are already there. Obviously, Gallagher had a win last weekend, but you have Arch Lid and Mix Pettis, the guys I mentioned before. How do you feel like the Bellator div uh, Bantamweight division kind of compares to some of the other Bantamweight divisions out there? I think it's stacked, man. They, they signed so many prospects and so many guys for the last year or two, and uh, guys with zero losses, one loss, and I uh, can't wait to mix it up with all of them and uh, see where I stand. Steve Julian. All right, Ricky, thank you for the time, as always. Sergio Pettis has already been mentioned, and is that a fight that you want to get back at some point? Absolutely. You know, him, Archuleta, and Mix, I'd love to get back in there and uh, redeem those losses. Hello. Like you might have an edge against Archuleta in a title shot, knowing that you've already uh, had Yeah, I think it helps. With him. You know, he's uh, he fights different. His style is not... Uh, easily matched with all his movement. So I think next time it would help a little bit more getting in there. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Chris. Chris, your line is now live. All right. We'll move on to Donna here. Hey, Ricky, how's it? hey how you doing? Oh, well, we, we just lost Chris. Uh, we'll, we'll get back to him in a minute. But, um, hey, Ricky, uh, Donna Corby here. I just wanted to ask, Leandro Ego is, is an interesting one. I mean, you fought people who uh, most pundits would say are, quote-unquote, better. I mean, but he's certainly one of the trickier opponents you've faced. What exactly are you expecting going into the cage with him on Thursday? Uh, you know, he seems to be more of a veteran. He has a lot of fights. He's been in there with the best. Uh, just a tough fight, you know, to... Don't give him any opportunities to take and uh, just go out there and fight hard. Obviously, there are things that get in the way of making certain matchups. Uh, do you think that eventually this matchup with Brian Moore that's been talked and talked and talked about is going to happen for you regardless of the result this week? Yeah, absolutely, man. I know he's up to, you know, I think he won his last fight. I know he's up to fighting. I'm down to fight, you know, granted circumstances and, and just the way Bellator, you know, worked out. I'm sure me and him will mix it up. What did you think of James Gallagher's performance the other week? Uh, he did good, man. He went out there in a fight that people questioned him on, and he actually finished the guy. So good for him. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll, we'll go back to Chris here. Chris? Hi, Ricky. Thanks for the time today. Thank you. How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. So my first question for you is, um, Anaweight is it like a real shark tank right now. Uh, we have... Brett Johns, we have uh, all these other guys, Sergio Pettis, as you, you know, you fought in your last fight. But out of all of your other fights, or out of all the fights in the Bantamweight division, who's the toughest fight, the Shark Tank, that is the Bantamweight division? You mean that I fought or that is in the division? Oh, that is in the division. Uh, there's a lot of guys, you know, like you said, Brett Johns, um, there's a... Rafian Stouts, you know, there's a the guy, Josh Hill. Guys with great, great records. They haven't really lost much, so you got to put them at the top. Carlos? Carlos, your line is now live. All right, we'll move on to Jay Anderson. Jay, your line is live. Hey, thanks very much. And uh, Ricky, just a quick one for me. I mean, Leandro has been talking about how he actually wanted to fight James Gallagher. He had a fight with him that fell through, and that's a guy you beat. Do you feel that he's overlooking at you all heading into this? Um, I don't know. I don't put much thought in it. If he is, you know, that's his mistake, and uh, we'll find out Thursday. Fair enough. Best of luck. Thank you. 
Giancarlo, your line is now live. Hi, Ricky. Uh, you fought under these uh, circumstances with no fans back in July in your last fight. Uh, what was that experience like? Did you notice anything different in the way you performed, or was it like uh, mental preparation? Um, I didn't think it was, you know, going to be an issue or change anything, but you definitely just have to dig deep, you know, hit the switch yourself more. Um, you know, you don't have the crowd to pump you up, or uh, it kind of feels like a sparring session. So this fight, I'm, I'm really planning on, you know, understanding that. And does that give you, like, uh, some sort of advantage? Like, you're coming into this, you already have a feel for things of how it was. Do you think that will serve you better in this fight? Uh, it depends on the person, you know. He might just show up and be a gamer. You know, a lot of fighters don't seem to have a problem with it. So uh, that depends on him. Santiago? Okay, greetings from Amsterdam. You have already been to Europe and beat France and Lambo there. Did you like it here? And are we going to see you fight here more in the future? I'm sorry? Can you repeat the question? Yes, yeah, so you have already been to Europe and beat Franz M. Lambo here. Did you like it in Europe? And are we going to see you fight more often in the future here? Yeah, I would love to, you know, granted. I think they had a couple shows, but the whole Corona thing happened. So I hope to in the future to get out there and mix it up. Good luck on five nights, sir. Thank you. Lenny, your line is now live. How's it going, Ricky? How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Yeah, I'm good. So someone just mentioned Corona, and I, I, it came it came to my mind. How has it been like uh, training with Corona? How's it? Is that kind of restricted anyway? Uh, you know, last camp a little bit, you know, because it was fresh. But now America Top Team, they have a good system running, and uh, they're doing real well, allowing all the fighters to mix it up and get in there. Yeah, that's perfect. Just one more for me. So Bellator have made a lot of signings. Someone kind of said this earlier, like Brett Johns, he's now a new talent in your division. What do you make of him and what do you think he can do in, in the division? Uh, what Brett Johns can do? Yes. I think he can do real well. I believe he only has a loss or so. And, uh, two uh, losses, yeah. I think he's going to do, uh, you know, mix up well with everybody. Brilliant. Thank you. Good luck this Thursday. Thank you. We'll take a few more questions here. Ben Allen. Um, so we've spoken about uh, potentially facing Brian Moore down the line, uh, which would be a hell of a firefight. And after already claiming the scouts of James Gallagher and Franz Malambo, do you take any particular pleasure in uh, breaking Irish hearts over at SPG? Um, you know, not personal. I do like to see, you know, the feedback online. It seems like a lot of people enjoy me beating up the SPG guys. So if that's what they want to see, that's what, you know, I'll give them. And obviously, James Gallagher has uh, still got big names since you uh, since you beat him, and he's picked up a few good wins since. Got a bit of a buzz around him. Would you be interested in granting him the opportunity to get that one back, or have you moved past that matchup? I'm sorry. Um, with Gallagher, James Gallagher getting a few good wins since your um, since your fight, would you be interested in a rematch with him at any point? Yeah, absolutely. I would if you know if that's what Belter wants. If he wants to mix it up, I have no problem getting out there and doing it. And uh, just one more for me. Congratulations, you're going to become a father again to, um, to another little girl. Why is it that all these stone cold killers always seem to just produce girls? I don't know, man, but I went into mind, you know, four girls, that's a lot. Luis Morales. Uh, hi, you're facing an experienced fighter in Leandro Ico, a former ultimate fighter contestant. He was the LFA champion. What do you feel is the biggest challenge of facing Leandro? Um, you know, he looks like he's calm when he fights. And he, uh, he can finish the fight anywhere, on the feet or on the ground. So you just can't give him, uh, you know, make a mistake for him to capitalize on. You're expecting a win, obviously, not rushing that. So what would be next for you with, with that win? Um, anything. Whatever, you know, one of the top guys. I see they sign all these guys, top prospects and... Bellator, you know, the Bantamweight division's got a lot of them, so anybody. We have time for just a couple more here. Trevor, go ahead. Hey, Ricky, um, just just looking into this whole pandemic and, and what's gone on, is there any takeaways you get, um, or has, has anything changed um, during this pandemic? No, you? nothing Nothing really changed, just the fact you don't fight in front of the crowd. Other than that, training and everything's been going like normal. And do you feel that the crowd is uh, momentum for you at all, or, or no? You don't look at it like that. Is it just you, you know you're putting your game plan you know into practice? 
um, I thought before it wouldn't have, you know, an effect or play into my game. But after last fight, I realized, you know, it definitely gives me a boost. Our final question comes from the line of Carlos Ortiz. Go ahead, Carlos. How has your training changed since coming coming from Jersey to Florida? Um, you know, a lot more, a lot more coaches. You know, for brains to pick, a lot more guys to mix it up. Um, you have all kinds of styles. So um, just the diversity is a lot, a lot more than Jersey. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much for the time, Ricky. Thank Appreciate you. It.